What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're going to talk about Canvas Power Apps and we're going to talk about Power Automate. So one of the triggers in a Power Automate flow is a Power Apps trigger. So you can trigger a flow from a Power App or a Canvas App specifically. And this video is going to show you how to do that. So for a change, I'm actually starting off in Power Apps. So I'm in I'm in a Canvas app editor here, uh, and I've just got a blank Canvas app in in the middle. So this is just a, for, a phone form factor Canvas app. Now, if I go up to uh, Actions uh, and Power Automate, I can add a Power Automate to the control that I'm doing. But at the moment, I don't actually have anything on here, so it'll just run, I think, on load. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Insert and we're going to insert a button. Just a big button right in the middle, and we're just going to change the name to uh, Run Flow. Uh, and that's all we need. So we've got a big button in the middle, and that's just going to run the flow. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, and we're going to go to Actions, and we're going to go to Power Automate. And by clicking this, it'll pop out this window here, and what it will try and do is it'll try and figure out um, if you've got any current flows in your environments or in your solutions that are connected to... Um, that are connected to Power Automate. So at the moment I do have this one, which is from an, another demo, which I'll show at a later point. But this is um, this is us trying to um, associate a flow with this button. So in CV says data flows associated with button one, no flows have been associated yet. So I could click this and associate it with it, or I can also click on new flow, which is what I'm gonna do. Click on new flow, and it takes us to Power Automate. Um, now, the unusual thing is I thought it would actually just start it from this point where it would like give me the button, but it doesn't. So it's still asking for a trigger and the trigger is going to be this power apps button trigger. And as I put that in, it says no additional information is needed for this step. You'll be able to use the outputs in subsequent steps. So all this is saying is we're going to trigger it from power apps or canvas app specifically. So I can click on new step and then I can do whatever I want. So I can Create a compose action, write in uh, this test worked into there, or I could send an email, I could send a notification, I could create something, I could create a record. I can basically do all that good stuff that I usually do in Flow, but I can do it uh, straight in here. So if I'm happy with this, I can click, uh, I can give it a name as well. So this is going to be PA uh, Power Power Apps Flow Demo. Click on save. PA is short for Power Apps. So one of the things I've, I've always done is I've always tried to keep good notations around my flows and my workflows. So I usually start off with the, um, the entity or the record type that I'm doing. So um, for dynamics, for instance, we like accounts dash and then description of what it does. So once I'm happy and that has saved, if I flick back over to my Power App, you can actually see I now have this, so PA Power Apps Flow Demo. So I can click this and it says adding. And then we can see it's added up here. Now it's open, it's, it's automatically populated in some um, a, a formula for me to use here. So inside here is saying, right, what we're doing, this is the name of the flow. And we've got this dot run notation, which will then specify that the flow will run. But in this instance, I'm not going to pass any um, any information to the flow. I'm just going to have the flow run. So I can just close this bracket and then it will stop erroring. And we can now see it's all good. So once I'm happy with that, I can test this out. So if I click on the test button at the top, I can click on run flow. You can see some dots going across the screen, and then we're done. So did the flow run? Let's check it out. So we'll go back to uh, Power Automate, and uh, to here, join here, and uh, no, it doesn't seem like it ran. It did give me an error there. What was the error? Uh, workflow trigger not enabled. Uh, 
uh, the trigger is disabled right now. Ah, so that's interesting. Sometimes when you ah uh, here we go. So sometimes when you turn on Power Automate and when you turn on um, Power Automate flows for for um, power apps, when you add the connection, it disables the trigger. It I think is a bug. Um, it's a bit of a weird thing, but what it's actually done is actually it's actually turned off my flow. So if I click turn back on. Uh, there we go. So we now have this turn off button. So that was that error that we saw in Power Automate. So we'll try that one more time. Uh, we'll click on this, click run flow. Uh, I'm not sure it's worked, but we'll take a look. Ah, there we go. It has worked. I clicked it twice. So here we go. So it's triggered in here and we've got the test has worked. So it's that easy. So we did actually run into a bug, so that's actually a good thing to show you, um, that sometimes when you uh, add things, add Power Automate into things, it can sometimes disable triggers. Um, I did, I have come across that before, uh, not specifically with Power Apps, but with, uh, with other things as well. Um, but it's that simple. So you can trigger a flow from Power Automate, from Power Apps, really, really simply. Um, and yeah, it's it's nice and easy. So in later videos, I will show you how to pass content into Power into Power Automate from Power Apps. But this is just to show you what this trigger does and how it works. So what do you guys think? Um, do you guys use this a lot? Do you build a lot of Canvas apps that then have to trigger flows because you can't build things in Canvas apps that do things? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, I like to know what you guys use these things for. If you've liked this video, please like and pre-share pre -share it with please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.